Yo, what's up, everyone? Welcome back. Today I have a portable boot dryer. Alright, let's check these things out. These things work awesome. Now, they are called the Dry Guy Travel Dry. You can use them in sneakers, uh, work boots. I mostly got them for when I go away on my skiing trips or I go skiing and I'm staying overnight. If I'm skiing in some of the warmer temperatures, just like some of the most of the Northeast has been having so far this winter, it's now February, the end of February, excuse me, and snow hasn't really been a factor here all winter so far we're probably gonna get something maybe not who knows so with that going to skiing on skiing trips weekends away you're dealing with the man-made uh, snow mostly for some of the closer mountains that I go to so we are dealing with having basically everything gets wet with the man-made stuff you get wet there's no way around it. I have the covers that go over the ski boots in the front, but let's fade. After a while, if you don't just make the call to just stop and go in, you wind up wet. Boots wet. The inserts for the boots are wet. So you get these. You see the picture right up top there. These things in the front of the ski boot. So let's open these up. Check them out. All right. So out of the package let's just show we got the instruction guide you can see here dry guy you can see the two boot dryers with the wire hooked up everything this pretty much shows you and tells you everything you need to know about it sorry guys new generation there is no QR code you got to go old school and read this. You got to read it. Make sure you read the instructions. Dealing with something you plug into the wall, you don't want to have that kind of, kind of a mess. So, we got the wire here all tangled up. I'll show that in a second. But let's check this thing out up close and personal. So you see all the vents on there? They're the same on the bottom. You can see how it's angled up here. So you would put this down in the boot or in your shoe, whatever, and then the wire would come up and out the top. So it is already angled like that. You don't have to worry about the wire sticking out the back and it doesn't fit, all of that. So these things are actually made pretty cool. I mean, you can see, don't drop this now. Might not work if you drop it. <laughs> so you can see just about how big they are. They're, I don't know, maybe six, seven inches, something like that. <clears throat> But yeah, I like the color. You can't mistake orange. Dry guy, I mean me, I would have preferred them red or black or whatever. That's just me. So obviously in the package you get two of them. So let's put those aside real quick. Let's unwrap this, this wire here. I have not used these yet. But I do know they get warm. Uh, I have a couple of relatives that have these. And they do work great this was a gift for Christmas so at this moment of time I do not have a price point for you on this you look so you got your regular your regular plug right here eh, it's a pretty decent wire you probably got about I don't know four maybe five foot wire here so it's plenty of plenty of room to keep stuff off to the side so you got the one wire goes into this block here then you got two wires here so you put them down into the boot so let's give these nice tight fit on the plug so there's no mistaking whether you got it plugged in or not there's a nice tight fit so you can't mess that up so now let me just show you, you see how the wire just automatically goes up like that out the back now imagine if this was out the back it'd be out here and then the wire it wind up getting stuck in all the padding not a good time 
So you got the two of them there, like so. And what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna plug these in. I just plugged in my extension cord before this recording. So I have that right here. Let's plug these in. Excuse me. So you see you got the red light on. You got the red lights on down in here. Oh man. They're already getting warm. That's quick. I like on the back how it says you got the little caution thing down here. It says 120 volt, uh, 60, 60 hertz, model number, boot shoe warmer. And it says in big letters, caution, do not submerge, do, caution, do not immerse in water. I guess while plugged in, I mean, that's a little common knowledge right there but do not plug them in don't throw them in the water don't wash these in water don't submerge them but yeah i mean you could feel you could definitely feel a little bit of heat coming off these i don't think that they are made to get scorching hot it's just a warmer so you put it down in there now you're in an insulated area whether it's your shoes your work boots your ski boots your snowboard boots whatever you want to put these in. You could even slide your gloves over these. Your mittens, they'll dry anything. It's definitely getting warm. It's got a little warmth to it, so you put these in there for a couple hours. They get everything nice and warm. Won't be over hot. It won't melt anything. Won't burn nothing. There's no coil in here or nothing. It's just, it's actually like a sealed uh, plastic unit in there that is just emitting some heat. So there's no coil, so if you have any fuzzies or stuff like that, don't worry about that. It won't be a problem. But yeah, so these Dry Guy Travel Dry Portable Boot Warmers, Shoe Dryer, whatever you want to refer to. These things, all I wanted to show you today. If you like the video, hit the like button down below, whichever side it's on. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. It'll notify you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday when new stuff comes out. Thanks for watching.